What's up YouTube? Today I'm going to do another Pangu 1.1 jailbreak. Uh, today I'm going to do it on an iPhone 6 Plus. So basically the exact same as before, just done on a different iPhone. Uh, before we begin, and I've already done this, my device is in airplane mode. Find my iPhone is off and the password has been removed. So temporarily when you do your jailbreak you're going to want to do that. You can see this is a 6 Plus, it is rotating, we're not jailbroken yet. And here we go, we'll uh, plug it in. Windows, is, I am on a Macintosh. Um, I'm using VM Fusion or VMware Fusion, so you can do the same. Uh, we want to connect to the Windows here. So we're going to open up the Pangu app. 6 Plus. Um, I picked up a Gold Edition. I like the Gold Edition, so. And we'll just wait for Pongo's jailbreak to detect. Here we go. So one thing, make sure you trust. So I go trust, unplug and plug it back in because we've trusted the device. And I notice that you have to unplug it and plug it back in. Oh, and open iTunes and make sure you allow the trust to continue. Then you can have access. Unplug. Put it back in. So here we go. We have an iPhone 6 Plus with 8.1. So can uh, start the jailbreak process. So it's going to tell me um, jailbreaks may lead to data loss. Make sure you back up. Uh, second, put your device in airplane mode. Make sure that find my iPhone and your password is off. Done all three. So when you've completed that, click already did and the process is going to start. There's really nothing you have to do on the device. We'll just leave the device alone. You can see it's just going to sit in front of me here. So right now we're in the transferring the resources for my jailbreak. Sorry, I keep looking over to the side. Um, one more thing I forgot to mention. So you can see Pangu new injecting. Uh, you should probably use a official lightning cable for this. Um, I have another one here. This is also an official cable with the adapter. Uh, I don't recommend using these, so use a regular one, even though it's an official Apple cord. Um, I hope it didn't actually give me a jailbreak complete, so we'll see um, if the process actually finished. It was actually quite a bit faster than, uh, than before, and it didn't succeed, so... Uh, we're going to try again here. So, we're going to start the jailbreak again. There's no password. I am. Um, find my iPhones off. Everything should work, so this is actually going to be a what if your jailbreak fails. Maybe this time we'll actually get it. So, it might have been because my device screen was on. I actually jailbroke this device without the... I, I didn't touch it. So, here I'm getting the storage is almost full. I do believe that uh, that might be the sign that the jailbreak is now actually going to work for me. And uh, there's the final cleaning. So uh, if your jailbreak fails, please run it again. Just like you've seen me do here. So now the jailbreak succeeded, and we're going to reboot. So now I'm rebooting the device. So this took two runs. So this is actually a great video. What if Pangu fails? What do I do? I didn't have to re restore my device. So. Uh, we will see. I'll just make sure here that when we boot, I'm jailbroken and uh, that the process uh, was good. 
I'm, I'm sure it was. It's just uh, sometimes it does fail. So this was actually a great video. Um, I was just doing this as a double up. So now you can actually see what happens when the um, Pangu jailbreak fails and what you do. Just run it again. So now the app is detecting that I'm jailbroken. So this is one way I can verify that the jailbreak was uh, a success. Second thing is I can open it up here and uh, on my second page so I'm actually still getting my storage is almost full. I believe I have to open Cydia to finish that. Um, let me turn my screen down here so you guys can actually see what's going on. I now have the Cydia and the Pangu app. So what I'm going to do is open Cydia. And it's going to finish this process here. And then I'm just going to check on the storage and make sure that uh, it finalized properly. Uh, I will be doing a review too on the 6 Plus my life with it, how I like it, versus say a regular iPhone. Like, look at that. It's crazy. So, um, not a Samsung fan, so the Note kind of was a uh, for me. Really glad I picked up the 6 Plus. Uh, would suggest a lot of you, if you're looking at the uh, Samsung Note series, to check out the 6 Plus. It's, uh, it's pretty cool. Still waiting for the finalized. I talk a lot. Sorry about this video. Um, you probably stopped watching by now. Make sure you rate and um, subscribe, but uh, I'll let it finish and finish the video off by just checking my storage here just to show you guys that uh, the process completed and everything was okay. I uh, need to upgrade the um, Untether. Uh, 0 .0 or 0 0.4 came out today. Uh, it's not for the 64 bits, it's actually was more intended for the 32 bit fix for Safari, but the um, stability in total is still there. It's sure taking a while. <laughs> I don't think it took this long on the iPhone 5. So far um, in my videos, I've jailbroken um, an iPhone 5 a 5S and a 6 Plus. So um, if you guys head back into my tutorials there you can see um, each device being jailbroken on its own. So the different steps that I took as well as uh, the original Pangu release which was in um, Chinese. So there we go. Uh, I finally got my respring here. I imagine it was just doing some cleanup. I'm going to load up my storage here just to make sure the uh, jailbreak was a success and there's no more issues. So we'll head into settings, general user about, and it looks like, yes, my storage is correct. So now I can hop back into Cydia here. Why? That's a big Cydia. Oh, they need to fix the scaling, and here you guys go. Uh, iPhone 7.1 on 8.1, jailbroken. So here we go. There's the Pangu Untether upgrade here, so I will just perform my upgrade. Upgrade complete, reloading data. It's going to ask me to reboot, I'm gonna reboot my device, and that's how I'm going to end my video. Uh, thanks for watching, you guys. Uh, rate, subscribe. If you have any problems with the jailbreak, let me know. Uh, if redoing the jailbreak didn't work, let me know. Uh, Pongu actually offers a re-jailbreak option. Maybe that worked for you. So tell me what happened and uh, what was your experience with jailbreaking with the latest Pongu. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. Thank you for supporting my channel. Please rate and subscribe.